Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name is James and welcome to this, the next, actually the last in our little mini series looking at the scuba regulator. Videos that we like to call quick tips, as much of my scuba diving knowledge on a given topic crammed into a video, five minutes or less, which I usually fail at, but I really do try very, very hard. We've worked our way through the entire regulator system. Last week, we looked at the very, very basics of the second stage, basically give you a glossary of terms, the jargon, what does it all mean, what do the parts do. Now what we're gonna look at are some additional features of a second stage regulator. So these are little pluses that you can look for to help you assess the value, really, of a scuba regulator the next time you go and buy one. Some nice little additional features to be considered. I'm gonna go set up at the workbench over there. You guys subscribe to our channel by that little red button. Click the little bell icon if you want to. Just, you know, see how it feels. And I'll see you over there. In the last Quick Tips video, we looked at a very, very basic second stage just to go over the functionality of a second stage. Here, what I have for you is basically your Ferrari, your Lamborghini, your Bentley of second stages, which has a lot more features packed onto it. So as you get more experience with diving, you want to invest in better equipment, upgrade, these are some of the features you might want to be looking for. First off with the second stage is weight. The sign of a good second stage for me, not only does it breathe incredibly well, but it doesn't give you dual fatigue on long dives. So you're looking for weight relief features such as the purge button cover being carbon fiber, super light, super strong. That's a great additional feature for me. Also, the actual shape of the valve and the, the exhaust valve, for me, this second stage works really well. This, by the way, is an XT2 from DiveRite. Um, I also have Apex XTX50s, not a sponsored video, just happened to be one that I pulled out of my drawers being one of the top ones. Um, the positioning of the exhaust valve and where the bubbles are gonna go, particularly if you're a videographer and photographer, is an additional feature that you want to consider. Now, let's talk about some of the nitty gritty here. Work rate of breathing. You, you're looking to buy a regulator, one of the key stats you're gonna look at is how much effort does it take to overcome the actual demand lever inside the second stage that we looked at in the last video in order for you to draw a breath. The lower the amount of energy expelled, the easier the regulator breathes. Top of the line second stage regulators like this one have a few additional features that you may want to consider that make the work rate of breathing incredibly easy. First off then, a pneumatically balanced second stage. What does that mean? In a balanced second stage, a balancing chamber is added to the end of a modified poppet with a drilled out center chamber and a hollowed out seat. When a balanced second stage valve is closed, air can still travel through the hollowed out poppet and seat assembly into that chamber, which actually pushes back the poppet and the seat against the orifice. This means that the bias spring doesn't have to be as tight, which means that you need less effort to overcome the spring in order to breathe. This is especially important when you're dealing with higher ambient pressures, i.e. on deeper dives. Next up, you have a couple of adjustment features on the second stage itself that the diver can adjust during the dive to make the work rate of breathing as easy as pie. First off is the cracking adjustment knob, sometimes called a breathing assist dial on some models and so on. You can see on the end there, you've got kind of a low to high, kind of like a volume dial control. If you dial the barrel all the way out, what you're basically doing is easing the tension on the bias spring and making it a lot easier to breathe. This is particularly important again at deeper depths. Dialed all the way in, you can still breathe from the regulator. It will still give you a nice easy breathe, but it's just a way of relieving some of that tension on the spring so that when you breathe in, you don't have to breathe in as hard. Next up, you have a Venturi lever adjustment. This is an actual physical manual control on your regulator. Essentially just inside the breathing chamber here, you have a little vein. That vein can either be in the parallel position, horizontal to the mouthpiece, or in an upright position. When the vein is in the, in the flat position, it provides a slightly easier work of breathing because the air can flow over it easier, it's more aerodynamic. When you switch it to the upright position, it provides resistance so when the regulator isn't in your mouth, it won't free flow. Don't worry when the vein is in the upright position, allowing that sort of resistance pressure, you can still breathe from the regulator. So if it's your second stage that you're donating to your buddy who's out of air, it doesn't matter which position the Venturi lever is in, but normally when you have the regulator out of your mouth, you put it in the 
upright position to provide that resistance to prevent a free flow. And then when you put it in your mouth, you switch it to level so that you can breathe nice and easily from it. Another nice bonus feature for all of you cold water divers out there to look for when buying a second stage of a regulator is that it has some kind of environmental sealing on the inner side of the chamber itself. So in the case of the dive right one here, it has a Teflon coating, which prevents ice buildup, uh, which is fantastic for ultimate cold water use. Other people will use a silicon spray or so on uh, and provide some kind of a coating in there to prevent the regulator from freezing. There you have it, Venturi levers, breathing assist dials. Who knew, who knew that these things existed? Well, you guys do now, so you can take that knowledge. And the next time you go into a dive center, you can walk in and ask, hey, I'm looking for a second stage with a Venturi lever. Oh, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. Thank you so much for joining me on this little journey. I really hope, you know, these were viewer requested videos. So I really hope you guys are getting knowledge and value out of this content. If you are, give it the old thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Over here, I'll put some of our other catalog of quick tips videos for you to enjoy. And until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready Quick Tips video for this week from Divers Ready. Dive safe, dive often.